Hey YouTube, this is Krista Ramirez, also known as the Disney Video Nerd on Tumblr. And this is a look at my collection from the Walt Disney Studio Film Collection, a line that lasted between 1991 and 1993, three, which saw majority of the live-action titles, assumingly about 22 titles. And right now, these are five titles I own so far. The first title you're looking at here is Darby O'Gill and the Little People, which was one of the first 12 titles released. This was released in 1991, and this was the first tape I bought from this for this collection. The movie is well known for including James Bond actor Sean Connery, and according to this thing, I'm sorry about the camera. This is the fourth pressing of this release. Spine cover. Oh, sorry. And the tape itself. The print date on this tape is June 19th, 1992. And it just typically opens up like any of the other studio film titles with the Walt Disney Home Video logo and a bumper promo for the Studio Film Collection. The next title and these next four titles were all bought at once. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> this is Swiss Family Robinson. This is based on the novel by Robert Louis Stevenson. <laughs> or I, I, I may have gotten the author wrong. If I did, I apologize. This is one of the most well-known live-action Disney titles, and this was one of the, f one of the many. This is one of the twelve titles featured in the promo for the tape. It's the front. This is the side, and this is the back. Again, like Darby O'Gill, this is the fourth release of this film. This is the tape. All of them are ink labeled. They're, none of them are sticker labeled. The print date for this tape is June 18th, 1992. The next title is That Darn Cat, which is well known for which is one of the more well-known Haley Mills films. Films. This one was later remade in 1998. And this one is particularly interesting because it doesn't open like any of the other studio film collection titles. This actually opens with the trailers for Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, and The Mighty Ducks. Tape. And the print date for this one is February 27th, 1994. So this was before the Family Film Collection and the Haley Mills Collection. The next one is Treasure Island, based on the novel by Robert Louis Stevenson. This was the supposedly first all live action film. The previous efforts being The Reluctant Dragon, a movie about the tour of the Walt Disney Studios and the making of a short film of the same name, Song of the South, which featured animated segments, as well as the film So Dear to My Heart, which was released a year later. According to IMAX Nation 1980 here on YouTube, this is the release that contains the uncut version. And the odd thing about this one is, is that it still has, it claims it has a G rating. Since in 1975 this was edited to include a G rating, as this film was supposed to have had a PG rating. But unlike IMAX Nation 1980's copy where the print label claims it's PG, this still says it's G rated. 
How did that happen? I have no idea. Must have been a mishap. And the print date on this one is January 17th, 1992. And finally, the last title I own so far, and this is probably the one that brought me to tears the most, The Three Lives of Thomasina. Uh, this was the first film to feature Karen Doctress who would later be famous for her role in the movie Mary Poppins. Then this is the second release, since I'm assuming the first release was in 1985 or 1986. This is the print label. The print date on this is October 30th, 1992. This was one of the first 12 titles as well in the studio film collection, as featured in the bumper. So there you have it. These are the first five titles in the studio film collection. I plan on getting these, but I plan to get them at, um, at a much slower pace aside from another collection that I happen to own. So until then, this is Christopher Ramirez, a.k.a. The Disney Nerd, signing off.